You know I'm incapable of leaving well enough alone. <laughs> Welcome back to the Skill Builders Guild. Thanks again for watching. Traxxas is gone and done it again and not surprised any of us and released a TRX-4M High Trail Edition F-150 Ranger XLT. And here it is on the box. And here's mine. And of course, I've ruined it. <laughs> that right up there where that belongs. Flip it around. I like the, look at the blue one better. There. So here it is. I've already pre-ruined the new F-150 Ranger XLT TRX-4M high trail by making it a low trail. Now, of course, the high trail line is not new to the TRX-4M scene. We've already got, we've already got the Chevy Cheyenne and there it is right there. And you can see there is a significant difference in ride height between these two because I just loved taking my original F-150 XLT Ranger and making it, or making it a low trail. So much lower, so much more scale. Accurate. You'll find that everything underneath the TRX-4M high trail uh, F-150 Ranger is exactly the same as the Cheyenne model that you see here. Uh, everything is exactly the same. Same tires. Uh, well, different wheels. They're the kidney bean style wheel, which is that wheel there. Same electronics, same setup, same everything underneath. Same clipless bodies. Let's just, you know what? Let's just get rid of this one. Same clipless body, which everybody has come to expect from uh, Traxxas and their scale trucks. Uh, you get the same ECM 2.5 ESC. You get the same Titan 180 87 turn brushed motor. You get the same waterproof servo. You get the same bushings throughout. You get the same 750 milliamp hour 2S LiPo battery. You get the same battery uh, strap location. You get the same mid-range transmission. Everything's the same except for the bumpers, the body, and the wheels. And those are the only differences. That said, I think the F-150 looks so much better than the Chevy, especially in this nice molded black color. All the chrome accents, those are real plastic chrome inset elements. They are not just molded into the body. Those are actually, I think they're removable. I don't know quite how to do it, but they probably come off. Nice detailed grill. Great looking front chrome bumper, chrome diff covers, which I also think is a uh, standard for all of the high trails, whether it be um, the miniature ones or the big ones, confirmed. And yeah, I did, I ruined it. I made this a low trail and I'm gonna tell you and show you exactly how you can do it too, if that's something you wanna do. It's not for everybody, but I do think it makes this truck look better. I'm not knocking Traxxas for making the high trail in the TRX-4M. I do think it's a, a worthy uh, addition to the lineup, but I just, I don't know. I just like how this looks. I think it looks so much better this way. You saw the comparison between the two. This is really more my style, and I wanted to see if it was possible on the TRX-4M lineup anyway, so why not? It does come in three colors. The uh, blue, that really nice kind of metallic brown, which I actually do really like. And this black one, it's not a special edition. Any of these three are going to be available uh, when you go to your local hobby shop to pick one up. Uh, again, that's the best way to get a TRX-4M. And in my opinion, it helps support your local shops at the same time. So very cool. There is a included light kit. Let's see if we can power this up. Where is the transmitter? Same transmitter that you would expect. Uh, that's the TQ. No I, <laughs> just a TQ radio. Very basic, but gets the job done. Along with the truck, transmitter, battery, and charger, you also get a full color manual that uh, shows you all the basics of how to operate your TRX-4M if you've never driven an RC car before. Also, a very nice poster. Uh, she does not come with the truck. There's also a trailer hitch in here, which is going to come in handy if you want to use a trailer on the back of your uh, TRX-4 MI trail. Along with some shock adjustment rings, some hex wrenches, and a T-wrench. Come hither, milady. It would be cool to see these in a more warm white uh, rather than this cool blue white. Uh, just to kind of suit the, the era of this truck. These are old trucks, so it should have a traditional... Um, it should have a traditional incandescent style bulb instead of an LED that looks quite new. These are the included tires on the TRX-4M high trails. This is the Mickey Thompson Baja Pro XS, 
which is a very nice, big, tall tire, which doesn't work when you're trying to make this a low trail. And now we're gonna explain how to make a low trail out of your TRX4M high trail. There's a couple of different ways, and I've seen a few other people do it where um, it kind of ruins the truck. And this one is a no muss, no fuss, doesn't ruin anything truck. Uh, and I will even give you parts numbers in the description down below so you can do this yourself. First things first, obviously change the tires. Uh, this is the smaller BF Goodrich uh, Crawler TAs. This is the KM3. Uh, this is an aftermarket tire. I think it also came on the Bronco, if I'm not mistaken. That might have been the stock tire on the Bronco TRX4M. Um, but uh, yeah, once you do that, you do obviously lower the whole truck a little bit, not through the suspension though. And the best way to do that is to remove the front shock hoops and replace them with the stock shock hoops from a regular TRX4M. That's all that you have to do up front. Uh, you don't have to change anything in the shocks or the geometry. You just move the shocks up higher on the overall portion of the chassis, and that brings the whole front end down significantly, as you can see. In the rear, it's a bit of a different story. You could take the shock hoops from a standard TRX4M uh, rear and put them on the back of the truck, but then you'd have to cut through the bed of the truck and you don't want to do that. You don't want a bunch of shock towers ruining the bed of your truck. That would look ridiculous. It's a comp style thing and we're not doing comp trucks. We're doing scale trucks today. So what I did was I limited the amount of travel the rear shocks have. And that's very simply done by disassembling the shock, pulling out the piston and putting a little tiny bit of silicone tubing around that piston and reassembling the shock on the bottom end before the gasket you know like it goes like this and then you put it here and then there's the thing here that way you're not uh, limiting down travel you're just eliminating up travel and as you can see it does severely limit the amount of suspension travel that you get in the back but it is a non-destructive way of getting yourself a lowered low trail version of this beautiful body. Uh, I should mention the frame on this truck is longer than the standard TRX4M, not even including the bumper mounts. So it is a longer frame overall. There's more material at the rear of it. So you can't just take this body and these bumpers and plop it on a existing TRX4M. It has to be this longer chassis. And because the body has an actual drop bed on it, which is very nice to see at this scale, uh, you do have to do this trick and lower the suspension by limiting the amount of travel. That said, it doesn't limit travel all that much. Let's put the body back on here. And you can see you still get a nice amount of flex up front. Nothing changes up front. That is going to be as per original specifications. <laughs> In fact, I do prefer a more firm rear setup. I'll leave that one to you. You'll find that the performance of this truck is going to be mildly improved because that rear end isn't going to flex around as much. It still gets a significant amount of flex, which is pretty good, especially at this scale. Man, I cannot get over how good this truck looks, especially now that I've lowered it and put smaller tires on it. I know it sort of defeats the purpose of the TRX4M High Trail Edition, but honestly, I did it that time, so why wouldn't I do it this time? Overall, very nice looking truck, very happy with the end results. I'll put all the parts down below that you'll need. I'll even link to silicone tubing on Amazon if you're so inclined. It is a smaller overall diameter. Uh, this is a three mil by five millimeter uh, tubing. Um, I'm pretty sure that's the, the three millimeter is the inner diameter and the five millimeter is the outer diameter. I did get it on Amazon. Uh, I'll put a link down below, like I said, so you can find some for yourself. You won't need very much. Uh, it's like eight millimeters per side. And that gets you a nice lowered look, which I think looks great. Uh, just for comparison's sake, let's put that right there. Let's get the original high trail out and put it right next to it. And you can see that's a significant difference. This actually does get it a lot closer to a stock TRX4. So let's uh, get one of those out too. This one isn't really technically stock. It's been pretty heavily modified, but it will give you an idea. Now, <laughs> this one's been Carolina squatted. I actually did kind of Carolina squat this one because I took the old high trail uh, shock towers uh, and put them on this truck just for just for fun, just for a laugh. 
But you can see it does get you a lot closer to the stock height of a TRX-4M, which I think uh, makes this truck look a lot better. Just my personal opinion. Now that you've seen this little demo, are you going to low trail your TRX-4M high trail? Put a comment down below. You know I love reading through your feedback and I try to answer as many of them as I can. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Thank you. All right, so there you go. That's a TRX-4M high trail turned low trail mini review. Uh, you'll find that out of the box, the performance of this versus the other high trail is going to be virtually identical. Shouldn't be any differences if I'm honest, uh, but I just prefer the low trail look. So there you go. Thanks so much to Traxxas for sending me this high trail so I could ruin it and make it a low trail. And of course, thank you for watching. We'll see you again soon. <laughs>